I feel, in terms of this award, I feel a little bit of an imposter because there, there are such great teachers out there that teach the students on a daily basis, with or without some recognition. Um, so this award was awarded to me, but I, I must say that it's an award that goes to all the physicians that teach medical students and residents here in North Bay. So uh, my last uh, my last work uh, teaching was actually running the uh, the small medical school we call it for the military, which we trained uh, uh, medical technicians and physicians assistants for combat roles in the medical field um, just prior to Afghanistan. So when I left the military after my 20 years service in 1996, we came here and it was just a natural uh, transition to uh, start to teach the medical residents. I had the benefit of when I first started with the residency program here, uh, Dr. Cowan graciously took me under his wing. Um, to learn the ropes and um, so he's he's been an integral part of my learning from day one since coming to North Bay. There was a real specific moment uh, in that first summer that I spent with him where uh, we were headed down to um, East Home to do some uh, some clinical work there and um, we're sitting in the car driving down and just chit-chatting and he tells me that his undergraduate uh, thesis at Queen's was essentially what now exists as the rabies um, uh, wild uh, animal prophylaxis program in Ontario and with a background in public health I mean that's held up as one of the successful uh, uh, programs that, that public health is really proud of so it just blew my mind or I'm sitting literally beside one of my idols and I didn't even know just how much of, a, of an impact <laughs> he's already had on my life before I even met him. It was just, it was mind-blowing, it was amazing. Yeah. The product of our teaching, we have seen some phenomenal young physicians come out of our program and go on to great things here in North Bay. I'd say I've had a significant opportunity to work with Dr. Catwin over my two years here and I think he I would say is single-handedly the most influential mentor I've worked with throughout my short career thus far in med school or in residency. Um, he challenges me on a daily basis to always do better. You know, he's, he's got quite the presence. He's, he's a tall guy and broad-shouldered and everything. And um, so when he comes around the corner, he catches your eye. But as soon as he starts to, to talk to you, you realize this guy's, this guy's actually a big softy, you know. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of the time and energy you've invested into me, um, making me a better physician and resident. Um, and I look forward to many more years of your mentorship. Just thanks for the experience and, uh, and the understanding and the support and um, just being an all around really great role model and approachable guy and all of the above. I mean, I, I really have nothing um, bad to say about Dr. Count. I have no complaints at all. He's, he's been really supportive and, uh, and a great role model for me. I'm always honored to have any award associated with Rocky Rochford um, and uh, I think we have to continue to note that uh, this is the Jean Rochford Teaching Award because he was such a, a good educator and teacher of everyone that passed through uh, North Bay. <laughs>